तनादपि सुनिते तरो रपि सहिष्णा वेरी स्मॉल लाइक ए यू वॉच वॉक ऑन द ग्रास How is humble? Grass is so humble. If you press to the grass, he will not press you. If you have any problem, health problem, the doctor recommends you to walk on the grass. Bare feet, no shoe and nothing, because the the night time what water come on the grass is very healthy for your health why because this only this mercy only can receive by the the smallest big person cannot receive big tree nobody walk big mountain there is no any mercy of Rain, man. What you say? Is what is an os in Hindi? Huh? Drop. Drop is come only. Tall. 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 to be with humble people so we want to walk on the grass but by mistake we practice so much false ego that we don't understand that you press he will give you softness This is the nature of the humble people. You press anything up, up to end to him, he will never press you, never disturb you. He will give you a space to work on for your life. But the ego, false ego, who has a full false ego, they will always make you to press something. If you press someone. You touch someone, you understand your false ego is growing. So, false ego is the reason of my not progressing in my life. Is a false. Is it not truth? and is the ego of my creation means i create this and the reason of all disturbance in life is a false ego if there is no false ego life is very peaceful life disturbed without because of the false ego here You want what you want. You want to be not by press by others. You don't accept the pressure of others. Why? Because my false ego is so high. I don't need any pressure, not advice. If somebody suggests me something, we don't agree that. But the grass, you press, he agree with you. He give you his love to you. Okay, after that I will give you softness to you. I will never. Reveal my harshness to you because I don't know harsh means anger, mess, disturbance. 
So what is it? To become like a grass is a quality, it's not its qualification. The grass in the Hindu, Hindu system, they worship, they need dhupa for worship in the, in the rituals. Cow dung, grass, they all is respectful. Lakshmi, cow dung is a Lakshmi, symbol of Lakshmi. And the grass is a symbol of humbleness. Without humbleness, Lakshmi will not come. The, this is the quality of a spiritual life that you become like a grass. <laughs> it's not disqualification. And what to practice? This is to practice is a spiritual life. This is the thing. You see, you open your eyes, what you like to see? You like to see first grass. You watch your, from your tree, many buildings are there, but if the green grass is there, you like to see that. Cooling for the eyes. Cooling for the eyes, because they are humble. Cooling for yourself, because they are humble. They teach to become humble. Huh? Huh? And the person who has some land, you will see first thing, you will put some plant, a little grass, that I can learn with this grass every day when I open my eyes. When I go to the Switzerland in Kalindi house, her garden is full of beautiful grass. Right? All green. When I open my eyes from her bed, I see only green grasses. It's a big glass. And from bed you can see them in garden. So that thing, why we do this? It's not easy to plant the beautiful grass. It's too much to work. But we work for that to become like a grass. You see, you work to make grass or not? Yes, always. So why not we work for become like a grass? <laughs> that is a problem, Kuti. <laughs> no, you work is a grass growing, nice grass growing as the same variety is not easy. You need too much work to do. So much you, wheat. Uh, uh, so much wheat. So much weeds are coming and you have to take out the weeds all the time. What is the wheat? You know? Wheat is not a grass. <laughs> wheat is is the disturbance of the grass. Because this wheat makes grass cover. <coughs> this is the, my false ego association of which will make grass cover. So the association of the false ego person will create wheat inside you. And they will cover your grass. Humbleness. Very careful to not to give the chance to develop the wheat. 
And careful, you have to put watering also. What it means watering? Nourishing. Yeah. Huh? Nourish means do that. Nourishing. Put water on it. Yeah. Watering is doing, becoming like that. I accept it and I want to feed me into you. I want to become like you. How the person who is opposite mind, who, they can nourish to the grass, no. They will not bother to nourish the grass. But you like, you want to be like that, you will water there. You will take out the wheat. You will find you, this type of association in the life that it gives nourishing, nourishing to you. What is the meaning of nourishment? To satisfy me. How I will satisfy myself? Nourishment. Necessary things to give. And this grass, you can develop also. You can take the grass from the, uh, what do you say? Earth? Earth with the, with the base, uh, root, and you can plant other places. And it will grow more. You know? What is meaning of that? You have to take out from the root this. If you take cut from up, it is not growing. You have to take the basic thing of the root thing of the grass, real humbleness, and plant it in other places, in other living soul. Plant it. Plant it. Help it to plant in the other souls, other human beings also. But take from your root this grass and put it there. Right or not? By doing service of the grass, you can remind yourself or not? It's not teaching. This is that everything in the creation is teaching the only one thing, divine love. The goal is to give love. Watering is also giving your love. Fertilizer is also giving love. Your wheat taking out is also giving love. Your walking is also giving love on the grass. If you know walk, you are the boss, you will not feel connection. And grass will not feel that you are comfortable with me. Everything is love. So this is the nature of the humble person. They, if you don't press him, if you not test him, he is not feeling love of you. Humble people always like to test himself every moment that how much he is growing is his, his humbleness. This is the quality of humble people. They are satisfied only when you, you test him and he becomes successful in the test. And the ego people will feel upset with testing something. They want to avoid it. Uh, he avoid to make association with those people. A humble people will like you test him. This is the difference. <laughs>
he or she become happy when more taste is coming in the life. And the false ego, they disturb with the small pressure. <laughs> this is teaching or not? Oh my oh, God! This is really high level teaching. Tara, the P. So neat yet. This is my guru. So I put in my front to watch full to him. So this is Trinadapi, like a humble to grass. I learned from you, my dear grass. You are the smallest, but lowest, but you are the highest. Taro Rapi Sahasrana. Learn from the tree. What to learn? Daughters. Taro Rapi Sahasrana. This tree is the very big than us. Our size is three feet, six feet, seven feet maximum, and trees are ten feet, fifteen feet, twenty feet, and bigger than us. And very tolerant. Uh, one day, one, what do you say? Who cut the wood? Wood cutter. Wood cutter. His home was not wood in the home. Then his wife said, I need some wood. Can you bring for me? How much? He said, for one month I need. So she, he, he see one big tree. He went there. And he started cutting the wood. He cut the wood. And it was a very sunny day. Then he opened. He, he sit under the tree and he start eating there, drink water. And he cannot sit outside of that tree because everywhere is sun. So he took the shadow of the tree and sleep there. And he start thinking, my God, all from seven I start cutting the tree. And I cut so many branches of this tree. And I am resting an hour under the shed of the tree. What surprise for me. What a beautiful teaching he is teaching that he no bother that I cut him. And he no bother to give me shadow. After that he is giving shadow to me. You see the beauty of the tree, that if you cut, he give you shadow and rest, and he no see that you are my enemy. If somebody talk bad, we make enemy to them. And this tree, what about you cut them? He always the same tolerance and giving the shadow for us. 
If you throw the stone, he never throw you stone. He give fruit to you. And somebody throw a stone to me, I throw stone double to you. Why? Because I am more powerful than you. And you see the tree, you throw the stone, he give fruit to you. <coughs> so it's teaching or not? What to do in life? If somebody throws a stone, you always be loving. You give something to him. Thank you for giving, throwing me, pointing me my things. I, I want to serve you. So become like a tree. What to do in life? Become like a grass and become like a tree. Adat apani sudharalo kogya bhajan. If you change your living style in life, that is bhajan. Result of bhajan is this that you change your habit of living. Where? Become like a grass, your bhajan is done. You will become like a tree, behaving like a tree. And you, your bhajan is done. Krishna will come to you. You no need to search him. God will come to you. You don't need to search him. He will come and embrace you that you are my real friend. I will not leave you any any moment in my life. And this grass and tree always remembering me that I am teaching you and you are not listening to me. But I will not leave you. Where you will go, grass will be there and tree will be there. And one day, when time will come, you will understand this. Why I am not, uh, not leaving you? You want to not understand me, but I will never try to help you to understand me. Not leaving. Come India, you see the tree and grasses. You are in Croatia, you see this. You are in Bulgaria, you see this. Whole <coughs> universe is teaching in the form of the grass and tree. Right or not? Tana rapi sumisena. Taro rapi sahasuna. If you like to become big like a tree, you have to be, make behavior like this. If you are not, then you are very small. You want to be like a tree, big man in life, you have to become like tree. You want to be a, like a grass, always you will be green. Why are you becoming dry? <coughs> because you no know, understand the teaching of the grass. <coughs> so dry dryness has come in my life because I want to not understand it. What is meaning of dryness, you know? No juice, no rasa. <laughs> Hopeless. No faith is there. Disconnected. Disconnected. No. That uh, disconnection make you to dry, or to become hopeless, and to suffer. And the connection the, of the grass 
with the earth, if the grass becomes dry also in the, grass, in the earth, if you really water and give the fertilizer, it will become again green. Because connections are there. I see this, that that dry grass becomes green. If you start again watering and put, putting some fertile and taking out the wheat. <coughs> so these are not teaching. This is not. Mahaprabhu said, what you will see the philosophy and other things. Only two practices will change. Two practices become like a grass, and if you want to become big, green or grass, like a green always in life, become like a grass. And if you want to be a biggest person, become tolerant like it. Right? If not, then hopelessness will come and dryness will come. Nobody can stop that. No way of dryness not come. Amani na amani dena. And respect to those people who never respected by others. If you give respect to respectful people, is no big meaning. Many are respectful. Many are respectful. They will not understand or understand. It's good to do. But if you want to be understand about the respect, learn who don't need respect, take care of those people. Never be respected by others. Care them to respect. If this nature is coming inside us, that is a spirituality. That is means that I realize that I am a living soul. If not, then I am so much conscious with my material body and senses that I become material. Amanina, who never know about the, any point of the respect, and that you give respect and love. I'm Kirtaniya, Sadahari. What is the meaning of that? <coughs> Hari is living in the temple. Naham basami bhaikunthe. I am not living in the Bhaikuntha. And yogi I am Hiranacha. And I am not sitting in the heart of yogi. Mam bhakta jatra gayante, where my devotees lovingly remembering me and chanting for me, thinking for me. That is Thaminarda, that place I sit and, and meditate. Take from here, hundred rupees give, fifty, hundred rupees. <coughs> 
stuck this timing out of them. Ram. I don't know. Cut the stamina. Naham Basami Bagunte Yogi Nam Hidanacha Mam Bhakta Jatragayanti. Cut the stamina. Oh Narad, I am not living in the Bagunta. I am not living in the heart of yogis. Mam bhakta, my bhaktas wear the seat and remember and think for me and do service like that. I live only in their heart. So, kirtaniya, who the person who is doing the kirtan, Radha Mohan lives in their heart. If you want to love Radha Mohan, you have to love the person who is connected, he is thinking for Radha Mohan. You imagine what is happening in the temple. They think that Krishna is in the temple and devotees have to neglect and not to respect what happened? Dryness will come. And if you think for Radha Mohan and care to Radha Mohan, and at the same time you care his devotee like him, like him, that there is no difference between you and all your devotees. Then he will not leave that place. That's the point. Then you will feel the life is there, the feelings are there, and the vibration is there. Naham, I Mam Bhakta Jatagayanti Tatatis Kaminada, where my Bhakta think for me, cry for me, service to me, I live in their heart. If you want to serve to me, serve to those people who is doing like this. If not, then it is a dry, dry bhakti. Only you worship to the deity and not caring to the devotee is a dry bhakti. He is nothing going to achieve to you. He is not only sitting in the temple, he is sitting in the heart of you. Radhe 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 Radhe